Hey, Denver Black with Soilcraft. I'm in a field here that was our last trial. This was the non-rainmaker potatoes. The potatoes have been dug and now sugar beans have been planted. So I'm just giving a baseline to see what we have because just that side, the next field over, was potatoes and sugar beans, but with rainmaker treated. So potatoes, no rainmaker. Now sugar beans, no rainmaker. Penetrometer, even over the drip line. There's 300 PSI already. 300 PSI just at this depth, six inches, roughly six inches. Over, bag, mm, do not exceed. As you can see again, look at how hungry these soils are. Hungry, slimy, sticky, can't hardly pull it out of the ground, there's so much suction. No air. Starving for oxygen. That's what the rainmaker brings. Oxygen. All right, so we're out here in a newly planted potato field that has not yet received the rainmaker. Um, they, they hilled, planted, and then have just freshly rehilled. Um, out here taking penetrometer readings. There's 300. I can't hardly go farther. <clears throat> and you can see, slimy, gooey, tight, tough, hungry, sticky soils. So now we are starting treatment just now with the rainmaker. So from here forward, it'll, it'll get rainmaker. Today's February 8th. So we'll be back checking in on it to see how it progresses. Anything like last year, we'll see the compaction, the compaction fall at the bottom and the soil soften. All right, this is block 43. This was fallow while the other potato rainmaker trials was going on. So this is just going to be planted. Um, two potatoes, this has just been hilled and going to be planted. And there is, there's 300 PSA already. Considerable amount of compaction. Do not exceed. Um, the soils are drier because we haven't, we haven't yet planted and irrigated. But as you can see in between the rows, actually better, there's 300. Uh, where it's wetter. There's more where it's wetter. So this is block 43, potatoes will be planted going forward. I'm here in one of the potato fields that we did previously. We, they were harvested about uh, 45 days ago and now sugar beans have been planted. This was treated with Rainmaker as well as a program including some good carbon sources, humates, etc. cetera. Um, and I want you to see the compaction compared to where we have the non-Rainmaker. 200, barely at 300, all the way to the ground. Comes out with ease, clean as a whistle. That's only after one crop of potatoes. And then now we have the sugar beans. So now this will receive Rainmaker throughout the next sugar bean season as well. Stay tuned and we'll follow this through, but I'm amazed at the lack of compaction no matter where I go, where we've treated, there's three, but we break through. You can still find that layer that we're, that we're actually working on. Two, three, there's the layer. And then we go through. That spot is a little heavier, perhaps a little more clay. But still coming through clean, making progress. And as we go with each irrigation, it improves. Each year it's improving. So here's a, here's a block that was Rainmaker as well. This was potatoes treated with Rainmaker. 
and now recently seeded to sugar beans. The sugar beans have yet to emerge. This was treated with Rainmaker for one potato season. 200, three just there. There's our magnesium layer, but we just sail through it all the way to the end. There's that layer about right there. And we pull through. So as you can see, we're still treating. We're seeing a lot of improvement. We're still treating that one compaction layer where that magnesium is likely, likely piling up. The soil is a little, still a little sticky down there, but it's, it's crumbling, it's falling apart. Not nearly what it was before. Also, one thing that's noticeable is the, the surface of the soil is a lot softer. You can actually break through it quite easily. There's still crusting, you know, we're still doing, it's only been treated for one, one potato season but the crusting is significantly reduced. You can dig with your hands. There we're still into a little bit of that muck that we're working on. But now we're gonna treat it with Rainmaker for these beans and we'll see how we progress going forward. So now we're looking at um, the drip, dripper line for the, the Rainmaker treated side. We're opening up, opening up a chunk of it to see how it fared throughout the season. So there's our dripper, our emitter. The little residue in there. How does that look? Hey, thanks for tuning in and watching our content. We really appreciate you and appreciate you watching our videos. Please like and subscribe if you like what you're seeing here. Also, look down in the description down below for our website, uh, link to our Regen Agronomy podcast, and our phone numbers and email, et cetera. Reach out to us, please, if you wanna know more about the content you see here in the videos.